Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing the Maochuang WRM 5x5. So here it is. I picked this cube up at CanCube for $55, but if you use the discount code MCUBES, you can get it for 10% off for only $50. This cube is really good. When I first got it out of the box, it came with the accessories box, pamphlet, and a screwdriver. This box is pretty standard and it's just the regular Moyu box. When I got it, it was pretty dry and I lubed it immediately with weight 5 and a little bit of DNM. I sped it up, but it became a little bit dry afterwards. I then put some Dignitas and Gravitas to break it in and long term that made it feel really smooth and fast. The feeling of this cube is pretty unique. It feels somewhat blocky and the cube that reminds me most of this cube is the Aosu WRM. It was actually 61 millimeters, which is one size smaller than most other 5x5s. Taking the MGC 5x5 for example, it is one millimeter smaller. The magnets on the inner layers are a little bit weaker than the ones on the outer layers. One problem on this cube, which is it gets some catches sometimes. I think it could be resolved by just doing a lot of break-in solves. One of the cube's biggest competitors is the MGC 5x5. This cube is a really good budget 5x5, and this is one of the more popular ones on the market. It's a little bit more bubbly and rounded while the WRM feels more squared off. GC is also a lot faster as the WRM came pretty slow out of the box. That's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram as well. This cube was sent to me by CanCube and I really enjoy it. I have some more videos coming up soon and a surprise unboxing from them. Again, thanks to Toadad for editing this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.